I mean, I was really excited, like, it had been my dream to go to East Africa, like, since I was really little. When I found out about the program, I was told, like, you should do this program not only because it's in Tanzania, not only because it's Swahili, but it's also heavily funded by these donors. And it would be getting to do development kind of work, which is what I had learned about in some of my classes. Um, and I was really excited to get to like see hands-on, especially like community-based development. So I think it's really smart that they were funding students to go and that our professors did such a good job of framing it as like, we're here to learn. Like not necessarily to make this huge impact, but just to learn. And I think that that learning, if you learn to do community development like that the right way, then that can make it be effective and empowering in the longer term. The TPP was involved in assessing the needs of this village and um, then addressing those needs through various projects while at the same time like training the community to help um, in addressing those needs so that it would be sustainable when they left. Your sustainable community development model is like um, like a grassroots kind of bottom-up approach um, where you you are going into the community you're really engaging with people like asking what are your needs um, and addressing the needs that they bring up that they see themselves and you're really trying to also like to make it sustainable you're really trying to involve the community in the development project so like now they have these people who are trained there who can like keep up what what they what the donor started there um, which is the like sustainable piece to it that is like a really I don't know, powerful way, I guess, for, for the donors to like be, be using the, the funds that they have like to empower people, MSU students, to go and empower other people, like kind of a pay it forward type of thing. TPP is definitely making a difference. Um, like, I think that one of the kids, he was talking to me in Swahili, so I couldn't exactly understand everything he was saying. My Swahili's not fluent for, by any means, but he was saying something about um, one of the women who works for TPP, and he was like, I think he was like calling her like the food lady. <laughs> like, so definitely, like, um, the kids like realize that, that TPP has, has, you know, provided this food for them so they can go to school and stuff. Um, so yeah, I think that TPP's making a difference. <laughs>